Michael Flynn. Tonight, the latest bombshell involving former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn is raising questions about what Vice President Mike Pence knew and when he knew it. The New York Times reporting Flynn told President Trump's transition team more than two weeks before the inauguration that he was under investigation for secretly working as a paid lobbyist for Turkish interests during the campaign. Pence led the Trump transition effort, but said the first time he learned of Flynn's ties to Turkey was in March, when the retired general registered with the Department of Justice as a foreign agent, a move that seemed to surprise the vice president at the time. Well, let me say, hearing that story today was the first I heard of it. And um, I fully support the decision that President Trump made to ask for General Flynn's resignation. A Pence aide telling CNN Today, the vice president stands by his comments in March upon first hearing the news regarding General Flynn's ties to Turkey and fully supports the president's decision to ask for General Flynn's resignation. That, despite the vice president also receiving a warning about Flynn's foreign ties in a letter last November from Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings. I sent him a very lengthy letter warning him of, in of, November. Of the letter detailed Flynn's lobbying work for a Turkish firm and the payment you know he received for a speech in Moscow that was, quote, highly critical of the United States. During the height of the presidential campaign, Flynn's consulting firm was paid more than half a million dollars by a Turkish-owned company. Cummings says Pence later told him he had no recollection of receiving the document. Basically, when I asked him about it later on, uh, he said that, you know, he, he just had a fog and he doesn't remember getting it. Adding of Flynn. The thing that I do find very interesting is how he had told uh, people in the White House about the fact that he was being investigated. I mean, come on now. At some point, you say, duh. <laughs> Pence, who has often acted as a Trump translator, dating back to the campaign, Donald Trump is a good man, is facing a growing credibility problem. Just last week, when he was dispatched to Capitol Hill after the sudden firing of FBI Director James Comey, Pence repeated the White House line seven times, stating that the decision to fire Comey was based on a recommendation from the Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein. He provided strong leadership to act on the recommendation of the Deputy Attorney General. Only to be contradicted by the president hours later. I was going to fire Comey, my decision. I was going to fire regardless. And after reports surfaced that Flynn discussed sanctions with Russia's ambassador during the transition, the vice president dismissed them. What I can confirm, having spoken to him about it, is that those conversations that happened to occur around the time uh, that the United States uh, took took action to expel diplomats um, had nothing whatsoever to do with those sanctions. A move that ultimately cost the national security advisor his job.